Hi everyone and welcome back to Motorcycle Rescuer. Um, I'm dishing out videos left, right and centre at the moment. It's pretty amazing actually. Um, by now you've seen this bike run and ride as it should. But you've also seen that it feels slightly over compressed. It feels like it's compressing a bit tough. Now I think... I've got the answer, I think I know what's going on, but of course, um, <clears throat> it's never really that easy. Now, these, these engines, they use guide pins to seat them exactly millimetre perfect, okay? Um, I'm trying to find the other, the, the 150 to show you guys. But um, obviously Sultan's been in here and messed everything up. Uh, right, so here. So this is my theory. That was my bottom end. Or well, maybe I'm wrong. Now I thought two of these would be bigger. To have guide pins in. And by guide pins I mean... <clears throat> I've already checked in here, look. See these. Now... You might be thinking, hang on a minute, you've blatantly missed them out because they're in your hand. But not necessarily because they may have come in that kit. So I have got two spares of these guys. But they may have come in this kit. So one, so it'd be something like that. I mean, that does fit in there. But then, does it fit in all four? It fits in all four. So, oh, no, hang on. It doesn't fit in there. It fits in there, fits in. Anyway... <coughs> My theory is that this whole engine is millimetres off from centre. That means one side of the piston is pushing a bit harder than the others, isn't it? Uh, and it just scrapes all the way up. Now, it's fine. I've got some two-stroke in there and stuff for now, but it will wear at a silly rate, guys. And also, I don't like the fact that it won't start on the button. That annoys me. So, I'm on my own. I haven't invited Sultan. Not for any reason. He's sometimes helpful, you know ordering food and stuff but um i just I've, it's all fresh in my mind and i've got all the tools and it's just eights and tens and twelves i'm going to break it all down now this time i'm going to get out my torque wrench and i'm going to do it all properly because i think we're going to have a sweet running engine here uh, and again i love the shapes of these bikes these bikes look like look like lamborghinis to me they have such a slick shape and you guys aren't going to see that properly until i've pieced it together properly which could be today or tomorrow guys so um, it is Wednesday the 23rd of December, it is Christmas Eve Eve, as some of your kids might call it, and some of your adults. Um, I'm not going to film this guys, you saw me put this whole engine together yesterday, I did it all finger tight and it bloody started up and it shouldn't have. So uh, I'm just going to get on with this one, I'm just keeping you guys updated as to, uh, as to how I came to the conclusion. I spoke with Gary, and I spoke with Nat a bit, and I spoke with some others, and... I'm still in two minds as to whether that is the theory. I'm hoping my head, my cylinder, has two holes for alignment. Even if they have four like this, it doesn't matter. They're two fit and align it. And then my next theory is I tightened the side bolts down. The side bolts down here, right? I tightened them down first, which, you, which is what we do on, on other engines. You do always do them two first. But I want to do them all kind of in order now and, and have them all kind of seated properly. So basically that's what I'm doing. I'm breaking the engine back down. I'm pulling everything off. Um, you can't slide on these things. You can't like pull it back and keep the piston in and slide them on, which would be great. Because you have to take the whole thing off. You have to slide them right down the whole um, line. Although... Yeah, I'm just going to do it properly. So um, that's it, guys. So that, that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to uh, keep going and, and start uh, breaking it down. And I'll, I'll just kind of catch you up. But I'm not going to show you the whole process because you know it. You've seen it. And uh, and it shouldn't have worked yesterday, but it did, which means this engine has some life in it. Uh, you also may have seen me flush this engine six times. So I ran it up to temperature. I ran it for five to ten minutes and, and flushed it six times. Um, I did find bits bits of metal i still kind of stand by the fact that i don't think 
maybe one or two would be a pain in there um, but the tiny little fragments I don't think would do too much but my plan is to run this bike for a week start it every day warm it up top up the oil and then um, and flush it a couple more times after a significant amount of time so that it can all kind of flow into the uh, the catch the um oh, what's it called the filter right let's get on with it so guys head and valves are off this is a good start look they're the guide pins um, they're in this one but I remember putting them in this one so oh, that's good it's the one under there that I need to uh, worry about but we're here we got here quite quick with no major issues um, let's spin let's see if we still have that tight spot actually we don't but to be fair it's not talked down guys so um, yeah all right um, oh god we're probably nowhere near top there let's get back to top dead is that top dead I think that's one around actually is that top dead is that hit the top yeah that's top dead um, not that that matters too much guys at this stage but um this is the key point now have I put them guide pins on the bottom end and you know were they meant to be on basically uh, interesting uh, to keep doing the same thing with the chain just keep it kind of fed out so it doesn't fall through you're screwed if you drop it through well you're not really you just put a magnet down and pick it out but on older bikes it could fall off the uh, the guide chain the timing chain at the bottom and then it became a right pain on newer bikes it, it has protection from that but it's good practice to keep the chain tensioned like this guys look good practice on any vehicle right let me pop this off and see see exactly what's going on um, that piston fits so well guys look it's spot on but I think millimeter absolute half a millimeter off if them guide pins were needed exciting actually let's see okay guys let's have a good look at things here while we're here piston and rings look great no cracks no problems there that's excellent bottom gasket is fine that's there and still okay and ready to go um guide pins guide pins yeah one there and one there guys look at that one there and one there okay as in they weren't on and they should be although the gasket i think i'm going to slide the guide pins down here and here set it with the gasket chuck all this straight back on now so that it's kind of good and ready to go um i think that's definitely the key guys it would have been millimeters off because it needs them guide pins to sit absolutely straight i'm a bit annoyed i'm kind of excited and annoyed and it's taken me half an hour to break this engine back down which is which is good um but also annoyed i want to chuck it all back together bolt it all up and make sure it, it kind of turns a bit smoother than it did yesterday and i will be uh, ecstat ecstatic 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 i'll be very excited <laughs> today um I've been reading about a lot of you guys not being able to get to shops and stuff are absolutely gutting. Uh, I'm taking my sister out later. In, in, in London, the shops aren't taping off aisles, so you can still buy gifts and stuff, guys. And uh, even, you know, we, we all in my house had to wait for our last pay anyway, and actually one of my sisters was today. Um, mine was last week. My mum's is, was last week. Basically... People have been really screwed by the government guidance, but of course the guidance is there for a reason. But um, I feel really bad for people this year, so I absolutely try my hardest to help as many people out as I can. Uh, and I mean physically, I don't mean just releasing stupid videos. So uh, I'm sorry for anyone struggling out there, guys. That was timed appropriately. But yeah, and um, hopefully we all kind of pull through at some point and corona disappears and we actually can celebrate properly uh okay but for now i'm gonna fix my mistakes chuck this back together while it's all fresh in my mind i'm gonna use appropriate torque settings this time and i think we'll have a bike that starts on the button and, and rides perfectly i think so guys that is absolutely on properly now and with the guide pins i'm kind of annoyed and excited i have to be honest i'm glad it's gone back together so quick and easy um, 
but yeah it's frustrating that I missed that out yesterday even though I was messing around lots I really didn't expect the engine to run yesterday guys that's why I was being silly and talking about tightening with my fingers um, it shocked me that it did run I thought the cylinder bore was too far gone and then it bloody ran and pulled full speed so I mean if that pulled so well yesterday with a slightly off kill engine how well is this going to pull today anyway uh, let's piece it back together that's the kind of hard part done getting the piston in making sure all the gaps are, um, are not near each other for full compression so that's all good now guys um, remember the next guide pins they're in already over there we've seen them don't forget them the head gasket is there and that's ready to go chuck it all back on and uh wow wow in half an hour we're gonna have a uh maybe a better running bike maybe potentially that went on lovely guys um i've learned something today in my head uh gentleness if the engine goes together so nicely well you know gently i think gentleness is a uh, is key here because this is just all slotted so gently together um, and I think that's amazing so uh, I'm gonna get the, all the bolts kind of down and lightly torqued but not fully torqued so I'm gonna put all these bolts on and the bracket here and and lightly torqued and then the same with the side two uh, and then um, I'm gonna get torque them properly and get the shieldings back on because I, I think this is just gonna be a good engine to go um, that missing them guide pins guys considering this engine ran yesterday it doesn't hurt there's no way this engine will be any worse than yesterday it should be a tiny bit better it should even start on the button but we don't know if that ever worked um, well hang on a minute we, did we use that before? we did anyway uh, so uh, yeah I'm going to keep going for a bit and we'll see see it's been such a quick rebuild this one though guys it's been amazing actually I want these bikes now, the Diablos. I love them. Okay, guys, sorry about the uh, the darkness. Um, after doing all of that, I'm not sure. I, the engine still feels stiff to me. Well, maybe it's lighter. Nah, see, it has that kind of... It's a big compression part, that is. You see, you get to a certain part... And it's very high on compression. I kind of, um, I kind of stick with my original theory that the new piston rings are going to have to bed in a bit because they're they'll be quite compressed right now, won't they? Um, and if anything, this engine should have leaks. It shouldn't be so highly compressed. Um, I double checked the head gaskets to make sure it didn't have two. Sometimes they have two thin head gaskets. They're added together, guys. But um, Online they sell one, so it can't be two, it's one. Uh, apart from that, it's all back together and it's all torqued. The other thing I wonder is if I over-torqued it, but I haven't. I've torqued it um, absolutely appropriately. Not sure what over-torquing could do. It could bring the piston a tiny bit higher than the head, couldn't it? Uh, but again, no. No, that's not happening. Uh, all right. I need to put the engine shrouds on. I don't mind. I'm I'm happy in my head that whether this bike starts on the button or not, I'm not that fussed. It kicks every time. Well, it did it yesterday. I haven't started it today. I'm happy that the main part is done, uh, and that this. I I think the pistons need wearing in, and I think you'll find that in time the button will come alive again. Uh, let me pull this out. It started raining, so I had to pull it in so it didn't get uh, water in the engine, but it's died down a touch now. At, at this stage, guys, it wouldn't hurt to, um, to to fire this thing up because, I mean, you'll get some oil spraying out, but nothing major. Because we want to see if we are aligned properly, our timing marks. But again, saying that, that taking this head off takes seconds. Uh, moving that that round one mark is so easy so it's not a huge issue so I'm gonna put the head back on I'm gonna put the shroud back in I'm gonna kind of bolt it all back up in regards to the engine and then we're gonna see if it starts up again um, I'll try the button but it's high hopes I can feel the compression in the engine is quite high 
Uh, I need to sort out this. This has been an issue from day one. Uh, it's, it's probably just the bolts need tightening or a couple of washers or something. Um, what I need to know is if it's just this part here or if the whole thing's moving on the inside. So I'm probably going to pop this off as well at some point. But again, that's all kind of down the line stuff. That's nothing major at this point. Uh, let me get this engine kind of buttons back up. I need to top the oil up. I, I highly, highly doubt the oil level will be appropriate. Um, oh, there's some oil in there. That's that's good. Nah, this is practically dry. So I'll top all the oil up, and then I'm not going to do any more oil drains today. It will be, um, I'm going to kind of start the bike and leave it running for a, a few days, a week maybe. And then I'll look at um, doing another oil drain to let the actual um, oil um, filter do its job, guys. You know, let it catch any bits that are in there. The, the heavier bits float over there and they fall into the catch net. That's the whole point. So uh, we'll let that happen and then we'll uh, get into that at the end. Uh, other than that, it's kind of normal MOT stuff. It has a year's MOT, so there's no huge issue there. But, like, do the lights work, do the brake lights work, and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. But um, I might be going way ahead of myself there, guys. Let's let's get the old, uh, let's get the shroud on, which is a pain in the ass. Let's get it buttoned up, and then we'll look at whether it starts. Alright, guys, so that's it for now. I need to go and help Warren out. Um, we were meant to be giving Warren Jake's uh, bike, but it blew up the other day, so lucky we didn't. Um, I did tell him I had this one but um, he's going to look at another Lex motor so I'm going to go and help him out we're going to have a good look at it uh, we've got the exhaust tacked on it's not bolted on it's tacked on everything else is kind of on and ready to go technically kicking this bike now will tell us if it fired or not but I'm not going to guys I'm going to I want to top up the oil and uh, and do that slowly so I'll probably be back here for an hour later to do the last few bits and hopefully hear it, see if it kicks over a bit easier, see if it turns on the key. You just, you never know. Okay, guys, so I'm back. We went out, we picked um, Warren up a nice Lexmoto FMR. I say nice, the things are ugly, but they are good bikes. The exhausts on them are terrible. Big, fat, ugly, terrible exhaust. Um, this, you know, right. So let's fire this thing up. Let's get that battery in and let's see if we get anything out of this bike if it looks and sounds and feels the same as yesterday then it's going back to one piece it's unbolting it back together all right guys i actually pressed the button myself there and it turned over on the on the key on the button so the engine is much happier today after that rebuild again which is great news it didn't fire up but the spark plug wasn't in i haven't done all of the uh valve adjustments i just kept them as they were so I'm, i don't know uh, there is a big chance this does just fire up, which would be cool, so let's see. Guys, sometimes things work out. Terrible timing. You wish, right? You wish. You only need the millimetre side. Right here down the end, just that little just that little bit there. Look at this guy pretending like you don't know what he's doing. You look excited. Using maths, maths gets you that excited. Normally, maths makes me floppy. That's it, <laughs> guys. There's proof. Sultan couldn't keep it up. <laughs> guys, listen to the um, next moto on the bun. Sounds beautiful. Yes, very exciting. The idle is quite high, guys. I set it quite high yesterday myself. The oil is topped up. You can see it's topped up because I spill it everywhere. The exhaust isn't bolted on properly yet. That's my fault. Uh, where's that smoke coming from? Probably from oil drip and fuel and everything else. 
that's kicking about. Uh, I don't know if that battery is the right battery or not. Um, I may just order one. I feel like I took this out. I feel like this was the battery. Maybe? No? Oh, it's working, so it don't matter. Uh, and... Uh, this side shroud is somewhere, I, I believe, in there. But basically, the bike needs bolting up. The exhaust needs a bolt going through it. I couldn't get to the back here, so I think I need to take off this the mug guard and just, just put a bolt back there for the exhaust. So guys, solution to the spark plug issue is that now it's in there. I just made a hole here, look. Put the wire through, refreaded it, and, and chucked it in. Just to, just to show you again that it's all good. Look, break in. I think it rides and sounds great, guys. I um, remember I topped up the oil this morning. Uh, choke is on. Remember I topped up the oil this morning, so that's all good to go. Uh, and I'm gonna use the bike, uh, well not use it, but I'm gonna warm it up lots over the next few days as it's Christmas and I'm probably gonna be bored anyway. And, uh, and then do another oil change a week down the line and see how much we've caught, but I have no doubt, I think the bike's good to go. Uh, I'm gonna undo these couple of um, mudguard bolts here so that I can get this bolted on properly, uh, top and bottom, and then uh, piece this back together for a bit. It's, this is a happy bike, and I'm a happy motorcycle rescuer or moped rescuer today. All right, guys, wrapping up for today. Um, the Alexa motor, I took off that silly carry bar at the back. I think these are classed as the handles. I think you hold here as a passenger. You have to have foot pegs in the handle. I think that's it for MOT. But this bike is MOT'd anyway. Starts first, turn off the key when the battery's in now, guys. That's great. Uh, and, and I just love this bike. Um, waiting on a manifold for that still. 